All right, Michael Swisher here at the Scortle Shootout with Cash and Football Coach Lynn Shackelford. Um, former boys basketball coach as well, extraordinaire. Let's keep that on the down low as much as we can. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do to, uh, to, to land that football job That's eventually. Right. But, hey, um, coming up here in a couple of weeks is the uh, Squirtle Showdown, yeah. which I get, gave it both names last year. But, of course, that's the seven-on-seven seven, uh, a tournament going on at Norman North this year. Uh, Wildcats going to be a big part of that. You guys looking forward yeah. to that? Yeah, we really are. I, I, I really like uh, the setup that – uh, that we have for that and it gives us an opportunity to go compete and just kind of see you know what our what our kids will do when you put them in a little bit of a pressure cooker you know you can go play seven on seven at a school or whatever but you don't have that same kind of competition feel so it's nice to see see what they'll do when there's you know wins and losses on the line yeah and this year you're gonna be breaking in a new quarterback yep. uh, griffin lamb i think you're Fifth quarterback in a row. Did we add that up? Fifth yeah, quarterback in a row yeah. to, to, to sign to play at the next level. Um, so you're breaking in a new quarterback. He's got a nice name to it. I'll let you you bring that up. But uh, with the new quarterback, I, I know you still have high expectations of this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, ben Harmon uh, will start at quarterback for us. He'll be a sophomore. Uh, little brother of Matt Harmon, who we had a few years ago, who, who wasn't bad. Um, Ben's a little bit different than Matt. Uh, he's a little bit more athletic, but uh, he can he can throw it around a little bit. So it's, you know, with him, it's just going to be how long does it take him to get comfortable with what we're doing. Uh, the good thing about it is he gets to join a team that has 21 other guys coming back that started for us last year. So um, I don't think, at least I hope, we don't have to put a tremendous amount on his shoulders. But um, obviously we will this summer when we go throw, throw seven on seven. I say all that said, how valuable is this, this seven on seven stuff? for somebody like Ben uh, who needs to acclimate himself to, to, to his receivers and, and them to him, uh, and then also just learning the offense and the reads and all that. How valuable is the seven-on-seven seven stuff for him? I, I've always been a huge fan of seven-on-seven, seven and, and I get it. It's, it's football on – you know, it's basketball on grass, and, you know, there's nobody rushing you, and there's a lot of things that, that aren't football, but there's a lot of things that are, too. You still have to decide where you're going to throw the football. Guys still have to get open. Um, you know, there, there's, there's, there's a lot of valuable things about it. So for us, especially as much as we throw the ball during the season, um, I, I think it's huge and I think it's really big when, you're, when you are breaking in a new quarterback just to get him some reps and get him confident, you know, when the season starts. Okay, my mind's gone blank, so I'm going to put you uh, on the spot here. The date, Scordal Showdown, is? June 22nd. Yeah, it yeah it's uh, Saturday. Last Saturday we can do anything before the, uh, the dead period yeah, kicks the, in. The old dead period yeah. coming in. So June 22nd, Norman North yep. High School. Norman North High School. Yep. And, uh, you know, who are – do you know some of your matchups yet? I know they put out a schedule the other day. Some teams you'll be going uh, up against. Yeah, it's uh, – Perkins is in it. Uh, OCS is in it. Uh, Minko will be there. Um, I'm trying to think who else off the top of my head that's in – we have a – it's a little bit different this year. We have a large school division and a small school division. Um I can't remember who else exactly is going to be there, but uh, it, it'll be fun. Um, it, it's always, you know, the thing about seven on seven, uh, Cassidy, I think, is another one. But the thing about that is there's, you know, everybody's kind of the same, you know, and you might, you know, some just because you're going to be really good in the fall doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be really good at seven on seven or vice versa. So the games are normally really competitive, and it's kind of set up where it's, you know, it's really fun to watch. I mean, if, if you want to watch some – some pretty good athletes throw the ball around. I definitely go check it out. Yeah, and there's you know kids get fired up. There's you know coaches get fired up, fans get fired up. Uh, it, it's a it's a fun thing to watch, and uh, we'll have a lot of that here on Squirtle. Uh, be looking for the schedules for that, all the teams that are involved, uh, and more breakdown on that. Of course, we'll be there again, uh, doing interviews and giving uh, giving away some sweet swag. So come to Norman North on June 22nd, June 22nd. all day long there at Norman North High School. Thanks, folks. Yeah, you bet.